an electron is directed to the left. So you've got some little electron here with a velocity to the left, and it's passing below the south pole of a bar magnet as shown. Now, we know that when charges are in motion, like an electron or a proton, they make their own magnetic fields. Moving charges create magnetic fields. So if it interacts with an external magnet, like this bar magnet, they'll either attract or repel, they'll interact like two magnets. But it's hard to predict because the shapes of these magnetic fields are not straight. The shape of a magnetic field surrounding a moving charge is in circular loops around that charge. So we use the right-hand rule to try and determine which way the force will be that acts on that electron as it passes past that south pole. Now we know field lines always go away from north and towards south. So if I drew sort of one field line, it would be straight away from north. Another one would be straight towards south. And then of course you've got these ones that wrap all the way around. So you've got from north and it wraps around like this and then into south. The point is on the side of the magnet where the electron is, my field lines are up. So B field is up. Now remember on your right hand rule, your fingers are the B field. So you point your fingers in the direction of the B field. So, so far we're good to go. My fingertips should be up. Now my thumb has to point in the direction of the current. So here I'm showing the front of my hand. And the only way I can line this thing up with the direction of the motion of the charges, so the thumb, you can consider the thumb as either being the current or the velocity. So the only way I can get this to work is if I flip my hand over and show the back of my hand. Okay, so there's the back of my hand. Now we want our fingertips up and we want my thumb pointed in the direction of the current or the charge. So if this is the back of my hand, that seems to work. So let's use blue for a magnetic field. And that's my fingertips. So my fingertips are pointed up. Let's use pink for the direction of the velocity. And here my direction of the velocity is to the left. And then because this is the back of the hand, the palm is pushing into the page. So I get a force that's into the page. But if you look at the answer, it says out of the page. The key to this question is your right hand rule works for currents, which is the motion of positive charges. Recall from circuitry, conventional current goes from the positive terminal battery to the negative terminal of the battery. So it's the flow of positive charges. So your right hand rule is for positive charges only. So negative charges will behave exactly in the opposite direction. So if you do your right hand rule and you get into the page and it's an electron, that means your force will be opposite. And that's because electrons are negative charges. Now, one thing I tell my students, and you know, you can choose to use this if you like or not. I just say right hand rule is for positives. Left hand rule, same rule, fingers and thumb, everything points in the same direction. If you use your left hand, that's for negative. So you can try that if you like. If you put your left hand fingertips up and your thumb pointed along the direction of that electron, you get your palm facing out. So the answer should be out of the page.